Hello and welcome to another CAD clip. In this lesson we're going to show you a quick tip on uh, some wall alignment problems that uh, have been around for a long time and a lot of times um, we can't get what I'm about to show you to work so we end up just kind of redrawing the wall and deleting it. What I'm talking about, if I zoom into my 3D view here, I've got kind of a foundation wall and a floor and then a wall above and you can see as an example for whatever reason that foundation wall isn't aligning with the floor and the wall above. Okay, And so that's what I want to investigate. So if I go over here to my foundation plan, which is down below, and I zoom in, I can clearly see there's my grid line. Okay, And that's where my wall above is. And there's that foundation wall sticking out. There's also a cross section here, which is this section. So I'm going to zoom in on this. We can see what's going on. This is that door right here. So we have the foundation wall, I can click on that. We have the floor system, which is there, and then we have the wall in the door above, which is over here. So what happens is I want this wall to line up vertically with this, but watch what happens when I do this. I can move it, I can nudge it, or I can use my alignment tool. So I'm just going to say modify, I'm going to say watch what happens over here. I'm going to say align to the grid line, the face of this wall, click. What happens is it moves the wall over, but the problem is it also moves the, the wall above and the floor, and that's not what I wanted, okay? So I'm just going to do an undo, bring it back. So if I take this guy and I use my arrow key and I just nudge it, watch, nudge, 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 I can slowly move it over, but it's still, what it's doing is it's got some sort of weird associated unaligned version so even if I pull this wall out to here all the way to the right it's going to pull this guy with it and at this point there is no align and locking it's actually doing it all on its own whoops I did a double click there so that doesn't work as well so I'm just gonna do an undo back okay and back to where it was okay so what the problem is which is part of this lesson is believe it or not it's it's the, this corner and this corner that's causing the problem, which is making this wall above move when this is down below. Once again, watch. I'll click on this wall. I'll nudge it to the left, and it's going to pull that upper wall and floor with it. Okay, so what we do sometimes is we say, okay, well, I'll just pull this guy down. Okay, it's not attached to anything. It's not even touching this anymore. So I'm going to try it now. I'm going to pick on this wall, and I'm going to nudge it. And look, it's still pulling the floor and wall above. So that's not fixing it either. So what we actually have to do is this. This is how we solve that problem. And this happens all the time when walls vertically align and we don't want them to. And I haven't even actually told them to align. It's just doing it all on its own. Again, and not only that, but it's not even aligned. The fact is I want it to be aligned. So what we have to do is this. You go to the ends of the wall that you want to move, and you can either pull this off, or you can right-click on here and say, Disallow Join. I could also just pull that off the corner. Maybe I'll do that with this side. Okay, I'm just going to pull that away. Okay, So now this is not touching at the corner, and this is not. See, it's not touching there, and it's not touching there. Now watch what happens if I do my alignment tool. I'll say Align to the grid line this wall and all of a sudden it's going to line up perfectly and it's not going to pull the wall above. Now I can take this and say align to there, this, and then I can go back to this guy, right click and say allow join again, which will clean up my corner. And now I just do a trim with this guy and this guy, fixes that corner, this guy and this guy fixes this corner. And for the most part, that's it. So the moral of the story is when you're uh, moving a wall and it's pulling the wall above or the floor with it, what you have to do is disconnect the ends of the wall. The tendency is to unconnect the top, but that's not the problem. It's these corners that are causing the, these two walls to follow each other. So hopefully that's uh, clear as mud. Uh, a great little tip which can be quite frustrating when you're trying to move a wall and it's pulling the wall vertically above, disconnect the corners of the walls 
and then move the wall and reconnect your corners.